Hello and welcome to Mobicool POS. This POS is basically a standalone application. Post installation of the application, you need to sign in the application. Then it has got multiple content management pages which tells about your POS store which you can go through done then there is a cash drawer in which you need to enter the amount uh, like I am going to enter 2000 cash drawer amount is the opening amount which you need for the processing of the POS and here you can click done then my POS have these many products on home page then from left navigation bar I could see various categories under these categories then comes the more section more section basically gives us the functionality of adding customers categories product option for the product taxes payment method viewing the cash drawer sales report and account information so let's first see what's there in cash drawer cash drawer shows all the in and out amount that is amount collected and amount returned either for change or for exchange of a product according to the date so I can click on one of the previous cash drawer settlements here I could see multiple orders done on the very day which is 6th April going back I have got my account information here I could see all the information related to the account user here even I could change the password going back now let's go on to customers here I could add multiple customers by clicking on this plus sign I can simply enter the complete data or even I could edit an existing customer likewise if a customer says that my shipping address is updated then I can update the address of the respective customer or I have got the facility to, to delete the customers by clicking on this delete button then going back I have got category section now there are multiple categories like I can edit this category which is new category here in category section I have two options enable the category and include in the drawer menu the drawer menu is same the left navigation bar which I have shown you earlier and from here delete option we can delete this category even going back we can create a new category by clicking on this plus and entering the category name like I'll here enter category for um, friends where I could enter all the commodities which you can give to a friend correct then going back here I have a product section now in product section I can add few products I can add the image of a product by clicking on camera like I can add this chair okay enable and here enter chair
product name here I can choose if I want tax on the product yes for tax then I could enter which type of tax is there I'll go for VAT then this is the barcode of the product which I could save and then I'll enable the track inventory so that I could be informed the product is out of stock or lower in stock the commodity I am having 1000 unit the product in stock weight is like 1 and no option I could then I could attach a category to this like home and kitchen and click on write to save the product and here I could see the product saved and back after adding the product here I could see options this options is for adding multiple options like here we have got size and color apart from this I could add more options which I could select at the time of adding the product for now let's see what I have got in size these many things are there in size I'm going back then I have got taxes while adding the product as I have shown you taxes were included in my product now here they are created like by adding add new tax rate I'll enter the tax name like I'm adding GST according to the percentage which is 15% and enable the tax now this GST would be apparent when I am adding a product I can even delete it by disabling the tax so this will won't be shown at the time of adding the product going back then payment method I could enable or disable the cash payment method from here by clicking on this toggle then there is a other section this section is quite important as here I could see export database import database lower stock select currency and currency configuration in export database I could export my database and here it's got exported I could share this database with other POS users of my store and bring data integrity to the system and from import database I could easily import the file of the database which one of the other POS user has shared with me in lower stock I have got all the data related to the product which are lower in stock and need to be ordered by me through distributor or other sellers right now I am having nothing in lower stock so it's empty and select currency right now I am having option to select US dollars save now let's go back and place an order now I want to buy this coffee mug customer my customer name is like Anna I want to give this person a custom discount in exchange of 
a promotional voucher I'll give it for seventy dollars now here you could see the subtotal taxes discount confirm next I'm adding a note of special customer done finally I have placed the order I could either print the invoice or email it to my customer now going back I could further see this order in orders section from here I could either send the invoice or view the invoice for the purchase now going back our POS is having a very beautiful functionality to manage the long queues with customer who are having a bit fickle mind and they either join the queue and then they remember things and go back go out of the queue so we have got hold card facility now like my customer has ordered a coffee mug and a glass bottle and see to check out but doesn't wish to buy this so I can hold the order from here okay and I could get this order back from this whole section this was the order now I can again confirm select customer say the customer confirm cash payment and again the order is finally placed now I'm back on home page that's all for the POS application thanks for watching